Hi, my name is Joyce. Welcome to the Pilkington Homestead. Today I'm making one of my mother's favorite salads. She made this or one like it at all of our family gatherings and it just brings so many memories back of her when I make it. What you're going to need is a large bowl. You're going to need one can of pie filling. Now you can use your favorite kind. This is cherry, but other kinds would be really good. If you wanted to make this um, less fattening, <laughs> is that right to say that? You could use like a sugar-free or something like that, but today I'm making comfort food. And you need one can of sweetened condensed milk. And like I said, you could do fat-free. one can of crushed pineapple with the juice and may, it needs to be large one cup of nuts these nuts can be any kind that you like you can do cons i'm using walnuts or not any at all because it will not affect the recipe if you do not like nuts then you need one cup of small marshmallows and you need one large Cool Whip. I didn't have a large Cool Whip so I'm going to use two small. Okay, let's get started. In your bowl you're going to put your can of pie filling. That looks good just like that. You need one, your can of condensed milk, ah, oh, that deliciousness just running down, one large can of crushed pineapple, and we're going to go ahead and fold this together so it'll be a little easier when we mix it later. Folding is just like going around your bow and dipping over. Then you go through the middle, round the sides, and what this does, it'll mix your ingredients together, but like it won't crush your strawberries. It's a very light way to mix. So all we need to do is just sort of get that started. Okay, now we're going to add our nuts. And our small marshmallows, maybe. They're kind of sticking together. Okay, now we're going to do another little fold. Oh, this looks so good. I could just eat it out of the bowl. Now comes the Cool Whip. Everything's better with Cool Whip. See what I mean how this makes a huge bow? Now let's fold and mix it together. This needs to go into the refrigerator for a few hours. Just put your saran wrap on it and let it sit because it needs to kind of mend together. Now if you're having a meal the next day just leave it overnight and if you're wanting a dessert for down the line you thinking you might have company or just any occasion just, um, it freezes absolutely wonderful and it makes so much that if you're not making it for a special occasion then it would be really good to eat like half now and freeze the other half for later. And this is what it looks like when you have it all mixed together. 